Hello guys, this is Pan975 and today I'm going to be showing you a new, better, efficient way of using your PS3 controller on Windows 7 and or Vista. And I'm pretty sure this works for works for Windows 8, but I'm not I don't have Windows 8 on any of my computers around the house to test this on. But uh I've been getting ma many many comments on uh previous videos on uh, it's basically I'm troubleshooting comments and I've come to find out that the program the motion enjoy program is is very it's bad it's virus ridden um, there's been some reports of users that have been redirected uh, to an, an, a, another website when they're opening their browser which is not good at all um, there's other reports of users um, USB peripherals not being being able to work because the motion enjoy drivers interfered with the drivers that you needed to install like uh, a headset or a USB microphone a USB mouse a USB keyboard anything that was USB um, some of the peripherals wouldn't be able to install because of these drivers were interfering I guess so um, I've been doing a little research and I found out a way how to use your PS3 controller on Windows 7 without the motion enjoy bullcrap. This is much simple. You don't need a program to be running in the background to uh, have this working. All you do is just plug in and you should be good to go. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Um, I was browsing the internet and I uh, stumbled upon this post on the uh, PlayStation 2 emulator forums. I forgot the name of the program, but. Uh, I'm gonna put this link in the description. It's uh, Xbox wrapper for DS3 and Play.com USB Dual 2 controller. Now, uh, this post by Scarlet Crush, um, he has a lot of links and a lot of links in this post, and it might be a little confusing, but I'm just gonna give you a direct link to the uh, thing you need to download in the description below. So if you just go down there. You should be good to go, and I believe this works on 32-bit and 64-bit uh, computers. You're gonna have to read through the posts if you don't um, if you don't think it's gonna work with your uh, system or not. And uh, this also should work for uh, Bluetooth dongles, but you're gonna have to read. I'm not gonna show you how to do that because I myself don't have a Bluetooth dongle, and um, you're gonna have to read through this uh, thread on the. PlayStation 2 emulator website and see if your dongle is compatible with this program that I'm about to, yeah this program that I'm not that I'm gonna show you today yeah so <clears throat> uh, here's the link I'm gonna give it to you in the description you go ahead and download that and it's gonna be on your laptop right here make sure before you do anything else that you install everything that's motion enjoy related and I'm going to at the beginning of this video you should have saw um, a photo of how to uh, make sure you get rid of all the motion enjoy drivers from your system using the command prompt uh, as an admin I'm gonna put that in that should be in the uh, beginning of the video and yeah so before you do all that before you do all this excuse me you need to uh, make sure that everything related to motion and joy is clean from your system that way this works now that you've done all that now let's go ahead and plug in our controller to the system I'm using a six axis six axis excuse me and DualShock 3 controllers should be able to work I believe so I'm gonna have to plug it into my uh, USB hub see it, if it doesn't pick up again and it's going to say installing device driver software and the only reason that's saying that for me is because I plugged it in into a different USB hub. Uh, it should say the same thing for you so I'm going to give it a second here to let it install. It's going to be pretty, uh, I think it's going to be pretty lengthy. So I'm going to um, let this run out here. I'll get back to you guys in a second. Alright, uh, it's not going to say DS3 controller for Windows installed because I've already uh, run, ran through this process. It should say if you click on the balloon tooltip that popped up right here it should say a uh, PlayStation 3 R controller or something like that installed or a USB input installed or whatever then uh, if you if you gotten that then you're good so far I'm gonna put my controller here over here to the side and close out of that next thing you wanna do is open up this folder it's uh, that folder you downloaded earlier you wanna go ahead and open that up then go to S 
CP user bin then system and you should see this file scpfilterdriver.exe and uh, if you're not paranoid or anything and if you are paranoid you want to make sure you scan through this folder you know just right click and hit scan just to make sure that uh, I'm not providing you guys anything with uh, a virus so just to be on the safe side but I've already tried this with my uh, system so it's pretty good no, nothing wrong so far you want to go ahead and double click this scpfilterdriver.exe and this should immediately pop up SCP Filter Driver Installer 2.2.1.87 Detected Microsoft Windows, whatever operating system you have. I think this only works on Windows. I haven't looked at the uh, thread myself to see if it works on any other operating system such as Mac or Linux or any other uh, distros for Linux. So I'm not sure, but this is Windows 7 and I'm not sure if it works or Vista. Well, it should work for Vista. I'm not sure about 8. You're going to have to look through the thread. I'll I'll link the thread to you in the description. So all you need to do now is just hit install. Um, I don't think, for me, I don't think it would go anything wrong here. But um, I'm just going to hit install again and see what happens. And it's going pretty fast for me because this is already installed on my computer. So yours should take a little while. And you should hear that uh, plug in again like if the USB was plugged in again and it says ins install succeeded that means you're good nothing else you need to worry about no programs that you need to leave open and if you want to test this out to make sure that it's working you want to go ahead and exit out of that exit out of this <clears throat> excuse me go ahead to control panel view devices and printers and it should say PlayStation R3 controller go ahead and right click that and hit game controller settings DS3 controller for Windows should be okay if that's not working make sure it, you can restart your computer if you need to if that's not going to work and just re repeat this process over again hit excuse me hit properties and just p press buttons on your controller to see if they're working and the only thing bad about this uh, method is uh, the six axis detection moving the controller by itself it, it's not included in this but I'm not sure many users would use that function for any uh, um, games or anything else that they're running I see people using this method as for uh, playing games or emulators of that sort I know I would use this for my project 64 emulator that I play on occasion but yeah this is very simple if you guys need any uh, more help or questions or if I didn't explain anything right please leave a message or send me a, a PM on YouTube or message me at Twitter on mention me on Twitter excuse me at they know Dave uh, anything else if you guys need just please hit me up this is pain 975 and I'll catch you guys later